Disclaimer before I begin the video. I am more sleep deprived than ever because I'm following the GameStock saga. I do have a position. Nothing I've ever said on this channel is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I just talk about Pokemon. Let's get into the newest update from the Pokemon company though, because now the region celebration has begun as a part of the 25th anniversary. So this is going to happen at some point every month. I thought it was going to be like March 1st. I thought it's going to start like the month with the Galar region. Then next month, April 1st was going to be the Alola region. Rinse and repeat until everything else happens. But now that we have the 25th anniversary announcement, now that the Pokemon Presents has passed, it's not like this is building up to a master collection or anything. We got our Gen 4 remakes. Legends Arceus is doing its thing in 2022. But let's see how the 25th anniversary is going to go through. So the Galar region. The Galar region is heavily inspired by the United Kingdom. Pokemon Sword and Shield draws cues from the locations, culture, and history of the UK to create a land full of places to explore. There's the fun little happy art that we've been seeing for the last... Has it been even more than a month now? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is also reminiscent of, I think, the 2018 celebration before Pokemon Day when they were doing the countdown, so it was like the seven-day countdown. They were like, visit Johto, visit Kanto, visit all of these regions. So now we're going to get kind of like the little uh, tourist. Again, very tired. Words are tough right now. We're going to get like the tourist guide about it. You've probably seen this video. There's a nice little beat going on. Sobble's doing his best. But let's talk about these cities in Galar, and it looks like there's nothing to click on. And we just get these little blurbs going on. Do the cities in Galar look familiar? Cities in Galar, like Modestoke, are based on real-world locations in the UK, like Manchester. Can you spot any others? Didn't they do, like, the UK bus tour that didn't really go anywhere on the channel, and then they, like, kind of filled in a lot of the trivia about what's inspired with what in the Galar region? Comment down below your favorite Galar trivia. Leave a like on this video. All that other fun stuff. Corviknight. Need a lift? Look to the sky. Corviknight taxis are reminiscent of the black cabs of London. So yeah, they're just kind of going... And that's another thing about Galar. I think one cool thing about this 25th anniversary is that's a retrospective of the generation in like a fun, tidy little way. So as we were going... Like this is also bringing back a lot of memories of just the buildup into the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, yeah, remember when Corviknight was revealed and there was this little blurb that was like, Corviknight taxis are a thing. You'd watch him fly around. Didn't it, it meant a little bit now, doesn't really mean much or it meant a little bit then, doesn't mean a lot now, but still a fun little bit of trivia that they're adding in. So I'm kind of excited to see what they have to say about the other generations, since Galar is just so inspired about being very close to the real world, whereas in the earlier days of Pokemon, before it was taken as seriously as it is now, they just kind of threw things out there and had fun. The wild areas. Weather across the Galar wild areas changes quickly. Better be prepared. That's it. No talk of the DLC. Like, that's what that's weird. There's, like, nothing else to click on. So, yeah, these are just quick little blurbs. Galar loves curry. Seems everyone in the Galar region loves curry. Uh, cook some curry to bomb with Pokemon and earn rewards. The only time I made curry was to get Keldeo. I was not interested in finishing the curry decks. I know there's, like, eight crazy people out there that did. And... I think the problem with me was, like, when I saw Curry being revealed, which I think was E3 when they showed cooking it or something, or maybe, like, the trailer before then, I was like, ooh, if if this is actually to where you run around the wild area, you find resources, and then you, like, quote-unquote craft the Curry to get insane amounts of experience, then it'll be pretty good. Like, if you could if you could actually get experience the fastest way, or, like, one of the fastest ways of getting experience was through Curry, that'd be kind of cool if you, like, converted your money into the expensive ingredients, and then you got, like, 30,000 experience in the minute or something. Even though I don't think that scales too well when you start doing, like, the long math. Well, actually, 30,000 experience a minute. That's 1.8 million experience an hour. So that is two level 100 Pokemon, which is pretty decent if you're not flooded in candies. So, again, retrospective. Galar region champion. Uh, Leon has gotten some incredible character development. Just the build-up of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the DLC, the anime. I saw a post on Twitter that said that his hat... The inside of it is actually the shape of a Charizard foot. So, I mean, the man has style. He loves his Charizard. He's also just a complete baller. And I love that's what I love about the Galar region. Like, with the gems and how everything is representing Galar, you are a superstar if you're the best trainer. And Leon lives up to that in an amazing way. So, that's cool. Wait. 
Galar's Sprawling Wild Area is the largest and most varied area in Pokemon Adventure. It's a little wonder why the Galar region champion is always getting lost. Oh, I was like, what does this have? Like, I saw Wild Area. I was like, oh, did they, like, misplace text? Nah, it's just, that was from the Twilight Wings, and also just Leon likes training out, out there. Dynamax Phenomenon. Dynamax Phenomenon is exciting, but perhaps a bit dodgy. Transformation is just a visual predict- Hold up! I know that's a thing that Junichi Masuda said in an interview. But now we're actually getting like the hard Pokemon Company confirmation. And this kind of blows my mind. Because I thought Junichi Masuda was just saying that off the cuff in a weird way. Because like when you experience battles, when you watch like in the anime, things get wrecked up by it. Like the stadium also needs to be specially designed so people don't die from the dino. Like how is it just a proje projection? Where's the projection in the wild area? Where's the projection in these dens? Where's the how yeah, how do you get a projector set up in a den or Dynamax adventures, but now it's confirmed So that's also like when they drop the bomb. That's like oh um, Ultra Beast they're confirmed to not be legendary Pokemon boom Pokemon company saying it god That's its own video now trainers and Galar. So that's what I'm talking about unlike other regions trainers and Galar must win the Champion Cup tournament to challenge the champion instead of def defeating the Elite Four. That was really cool when it was first announced and people were like, wait a second, we're actually gonna have a bracket. That's nice. Now, it is a fairly scripted bracket, but then it's not as scripted when you do the rematches, so that's kind of cool. And then you go into that to become a champion. Also, very big buildup in the lore, in Twilight w Wings, in the cards, when it's just like, oh, uh, so-and-so faced so-and-so, and then that happened, that happened, uh, Bade, not Bade, Oh my god, B. She got wrecked by Leon, and then it, like, completely destroyed her. Also, I think it was, um... Uh, was it... See, the thing is, you can remake the bracket if you just go deep enough into the lore, but I'm pretty sure Homeboy here got knocked out in the first round, and then, like, a lot of other th snowballing things happened, and then Rayhan had his rematch, and that's where the games begin, where Twilight Wings and the cards kind of end. I love the lore in Galar. So deep. For, vo for fossils, screw you. Just abominations. Bit rate on the website is low. Gym battles in Galar feature huge cheering crowds and even larger Dynamax Pokemon, unless you're in Spike Month anyway. So that's the thing. Pokemon Journeys, popping off, trading card game, that's the thing. Also, I wonder if the Pokemon Center website. Hey, can I just. Oh, oh let's go and do that real quick. Cool, I'm not signed in either, so I'm not doxing myself. Uh, didn't they say that you were going to be able to buy the starter TCG special editions on the website? So I should probably go to... If that's available, I don't remember the date, but wasn't it a jumbo pack where you get all three starters or something? It looks like that isn't up. That's also something to keep an eye out for the collectors. Oh, first partner collector's binder. Oh, it's the binder. Oh! Yep, see, here's the thing I'm talking about. So, the... This is coming out, I guess we don't have the exact release date, but they did tease the giant Pikachu, and the only way to get the giant Pikachu is by buying the binder? And I might have to pick this up because I think I'm the first person to know about it right now. Hope you guys, I'm gonna finish this order. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.